In today's video, I'll be showing you how to boost your FPS in Remnant 2, literally on any PC. So let's not waste any time and get into the video. So you want to head over to your Windows tab and you want to type up Game Mode. And you want to go ahead and turn on your Game Mode since this will optimize your PC for gaming. Then once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and turn off your Xbox Game Bar since this will drop your FPS. Now for the AMD users, I got you some settings. So you also want to go ahead and check up your software just in case it's outdated. So check that out. Now head over to the Gaming tab. Then you want to click on your graphics and you want to go ahead and follow all my settings you can just pause this video and copy all them now for my video users you want to go ahead and go to 3d i need settings and you want to scroll down and you want to find low latency mode now this setting you want to go ahead and turn on and you also want to go ahead and go to max frame rate and you want to click on on you want to put this on 167 fps and now the rest of the settings you can pause the video and just copy it then after that you want to go ahead and open up your game now you want to put your display mode you want to put this on full screen then you want to head over to your resolution now i'm playing on 1440p you don't need to do that for low end pcs i would suggest playing 720p and for mid-end range i will play on 1080p now for your motion blur you want to turn this off then you want to head over to your dlss frame generation you want to turn that off then you want to also turn off your v-sync this is very important turn that off frame rate you want to put on unlocked then you want to scroll a bit down and you want to put your upscale you want to put that on video dlss your upscale quality you want to put this on quality for me or for low end pcs i'll suggest put this on performance now as you can see my graphic settings is a bit high for most people but what i would suggest is putting all your settings on low your shadows quality most importantly put that on low and also your view distance this you want to put as low as you can get it or if you want to, to see it much more better put on medium but anyway if you found this video helpful please give it a like and also subscribe to this channel for more tips and things just like this anyway i'll see you in the next video